What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how everything was set for you to fail in society from the moment you were born and how not to fall into those pitfalls and if you have, how to move forward from them and kind of just how I see it and what I've done. So to start out, let's just say this is um the first way that they're gonna get you from the moment like when you're really young is through food through having you eat cereal super high in sugar um baby formulas super high in like metals and lead and stuff and you can look into all that all these chemicals like paint thinners and um just stuff that's not met for humans that is in these foods that should not be in there um obviously has direct correlations to cancer um mental decline alzheimer's um just all different types of bad things so the very first pitfall that you're gonna fall into in this life is eating shitty so the number one thing that you can do to take your mind back is change what you eat. The next thing is how you think. What they are gonna do to you from the moment that you're a little kid is they're gonna try to push, <laughs> they're gonna try to push you into conformity. And how they're gonna do that is by hog tying you the fuck down when you're a little kid before you even have the ability to think for yourself. And how they're going to do that is with the public school education system. You raise your hand when you want to speak. You walk in straight lines. And you don't think for yourself. And if you're caught thinking for yourself, then you are punished. And you are put back into the lines of thinking in conformity. And a way or an example of this is I used to, like when I would do math, I'd always like to find my own ways to do problems. I just didn't like how the teachers would tell me to do them because I just didn't I don't know it didn't work for me and how I would do it I would always find the answers like fast and it would always be right and it worked for me but um the teachers even if I got the right answers would give me the wrong uh grade like I would get I got zeros on papers I got 100% on because um I didn't do it the way that they wanted me to do it and um, I would do it my own way. So that's number two. Number three is after you are out of school, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be given a few different options by society. And those options are gonna be to go to college, to go to the military, um, or just go straight into the workforce, the nine to five. And all three are shitty and not what you want so we'll start with the first one college college every single year is becoming more and more outdated more and more expensive and more and more just stupid in general unless you have an exact reason why you're trying to go there exact plan and um your family's wealthy or you have a scholarship um, you know, and, or it's like your dream. If you have something that you actually really want to do, like this is actually your passion, by all means go to college. But if your parents aren't wealthy, you don't have a scholarship, you don't have something that you're necessarily dreaming to do, do not go to college blindly just to go to college because everybody tells you to go to college and get yourself thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in debt for a degree that isn't even nowadays gonna guarantee you a job. Um, and one other thing is college debt is the only debt in the whole like type of, I don't, only debt that you can't declare bankruptcy on. So once you get that debt, you're stuck with it. And um, there's people, like I see videos and stuff of motherfuckers are like 60, 70 and they're still paying off their college debt and stuff, it's crazy. Um, that's the number one and that. Second is the military. Um, this is really fucking sad to say, you know, but this is my truth is the military is fucked. 
And it's not because um, the people in the military that are fighting, I think they're great people. I think they have a lot of heart to go out there and risk their lives and put their blood and their bodies on the line. That is honorable. That is something I respect more than anything. But what I mean by the military is a scam, as in the people that are going out there to fight for these things, they want to go fight because they want to help the, their country. They want to help their family. But the thing is, is now what you see is their country doesn't care about them. And um, society so sick. These people will be going out there like Marines and stuff will go out and fight. Their wife will go fuck some other dude, you know, while they're like um, out risking their lives and stuff. But beyond that, these these wars that we're fighting aren't anything to do with us at this point. It's really just about putting money and um motherfuckers pockets and shit and it, it it's sad you know it really is sad because me myself honestly i i have the mentality of a warrior you know like that's what i truly do believe is like i, I want to fight for what i believe in and i'm i'm willing to die for what i believe in so that's why i do have respect for people doing that but the thing is is like i really feel if you're going out in the military, it's not the best way to spend your your blood and your flesh, you know, fighting against um, evil. There's other opportunities and ways that you can do it um, that could be more efficient towards getting to the real root cause instead of fighting the enemies of our enemies because these people that are running this whole system are our enemies and we're going to fight their enemies but it's like they're really friends actually and they're both profiting off of each side killing each other um it's a scam but you know i know that's hot topic that's just my belief number three is um the nine to five just regular stuff like going in um when i was in high school i went and i worked at a grocery store called Dylan's um and what I seen you know is you'll see people there that are like 60 and uh you'll talk to them and they got the job at the grocery store back when they're like 20 and it's like god damn man like it's crazy and um I work construction the same thing you run into these people that just they run in these jobs and you know it's not like they planned to work there their whole life, but then it just ended up that way. And that's a scam, man, because we have the ability when we invest in our minds and we invest in our bodies and our souls and like um, just in ourselves in general that we can, uh, we can grow and we can move forward in life. And it, it's not good to stay in the same place and when you have been in the same place for such a long time it is good to like assess yourself so that's the third scam that i would say i don't think the nine to five is bad i'm working uber and um shipped and doordash and like other stuff right now i'm just trying to get my way to the next level but you should um anytime you're working the nine to five have an exit plan like whether it's like something you're working on as far as like a passion project or just something on the side but um yeah next what it goes into on the third thing it, that is a pitfall and a trap in society is the healthcare system and this goes with the first thing that I talked about the health um uh, the food because the food directly leads you into this healthcare system that they have set up as a trap and the trap is is once you're stuck in the healthcare system like once you need it you're going to need it for the rest of your life because they don't cure you they only treat you because somebody cured is a patient lost someone that you give them a pill and they need to come back is a reoccurring customer and i don't believe that's good but i know that it is right and i know that that is what is going on right now and that's why pharma or big pharma is evil as fuck and um yeah it's one of the next pitfalls so listening to 
the information that the government gives you about health a lot of times might not be in your best interest um and this is what i go back to when i said the second thing think for yourself find your own solutions find your own answers don't take everything that you hear um a hundred percent because if you do then every single thing in your life that you're thinking and doing is going to be a hundred percent controlled by the people outside of yourself and um you don't want to live life like that so that's the i think it was the third one or fourth one i i forgot but then we're gonna go to fourth or fifth now and um the fourth one is that when you're dying i guess because when they got you in the grave uh i see this shit i was driving home all the time from when i was working security and stuff is uh they got it's like $8,000 for like a casket or something and then it's like um, I don't even know how much a funeral costs and stuff but basically from the moment you're born to the moment that you go into a grave they're gonna take from you man and they're gonna use you and even once the time comes that you're about to die and shit they're gonna put um, like thousands and thousands of dollars of funeral fees and debts and all these different things on your family members um because you fell into that system and every generation that it goes on is just gonna get worse and harder and this is um just that that's the first part of this video me talking about what you don't want to fall into second part i'm just gonna say how to not fall into those things first like i said health when you're a kid you can't really control what your parents feed you it sucks but it's just like it is what it is when i was a kid i ate like hot dog cereal fucking bologna mac and cheese i didn't eat any real food bro i ate hella shitty and uh like i regret the fact of that but you know it is what it is now now that i'm an adult I have the ability to choose what I do with my body, you know, and I choose to eat healthy. So, yeah, eat healthy. Think for yourself. Don't fight for people, other people's shit. Fight for your shit, you know. Fight for what you believe in and take care of your body. It's just the other thing, like eating healthy, but also not letting yourself get in the system of needing the healthcare system and take care of your debts so they don't get put on your family. And not only that, work hard to invest in your mind so that you can not only not leave debts to your family, but you can leave riches to them. And um, I guess that's the video. It's not really anything crazy, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, yo boy, nice possible. Peace.